Hi guys, in this video you will be shown how to remove a lock code from any Nokia device and also how to perform a factory reset on your Nokia phone when you don't know the master code or the security code. Here I have a Nokia E52 and if I want to perform a factory reset I can use one of the standard methods for example by inputting this code in the dialer now by tapping yes if I am sure that I want to restore my phone and here the device is asking me to input the appropriate lock code the standard one which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 doesn't work in this case code error so the only way to perform a hard reset is by using a flash method this method erases all our data and also reset a lock code so let me connect my phone to the computer by using micro usb cable okay now choose pc suit as a usb mode okay and the phone is connected to the pc then you should download uh, Nokia Care Suite. The link to this uh, application should be under this video. Then, if you if you have application launcher of Nokia Care Suite, you can choose product support tool for store and open it by double clicking. Choose Care Suite external and without inputting username and password, you can sign in. Then from the upper menu, when there is a file, view, tools and help, select tools and firmware download. The appropriate window appears on your screen and you should input the product code. The product code uh, should be under the battery uh, of your device. I already checked it and my phone has the following code. Of course, you should check it yourself because it depends on the model and of the network which you are using. 4819. This is my code. I'm gonna check online if there is a perfect match to my phone. Yes, there is. I can download. Here we've got a strip with downloading. Excellent. Downloading is completed. We can close this window and it's worth to check where our firmware is uh, safe. We can right click here on this strip and choose open download location. And here we've got uh, a full files uh, with our firmware. The whole files should be in one folder named by RM and the number of uh, our device in my case is 469 uh, then you should check the path to this folder in my case it is program date program data Nokia packages products and here I've got RM 469 then let me use a total commander and let me copy this folder and let me insert it to the following path program files Nokia Phoenix products it is the path to the Phoenix application 
you can check if you have uh, the same uh, application and this and the same path then you should copy this folder okay you should do it as an administrator yes and uh, the folder is right here on the Phoenix products uh, path then all you can do and all you have to do is to delete the folder from uh, product data Nokia packages products let me erase it yes erase yes I'm sure and everything is alright I've got the firmware in the appropriate path with the uh, Phoenix application so now let me use a Phoenix app so I should go back to the application launcher double click on Phoenix excellent the application is started in the next step tap file from the upper menu and open product then you've got a type filter you should input here uh, the name of the folder uh, with your firmware which also is uh, the number of your phone in my case is RM469 so I'm gonna choose it then you should from the connection change your connection to the appropriate one in my case is USB 2 RM469 you can refresh If everything is OK, you should tap flashing, firmware update. And the uh, appropriate product code should appear here. And all you have to do is tap refurbishing of software reset. Uh, these two options results uh, in uh, factory reset your device and resetting your lock code I'm gonna do software reset because it's more faster operation so let me do it flashing is started Here is a strip with the process. Of course, uh, our phone is still connected to the PC as a PC suit. We are waiting from the phone to boot. Okay, firmware is uh, updating succeeded. Our phone is reset. I can choose OK. And I can launch my device. I can disconnect it from 
from the computer. Let me choose random current region. Random time. And let's see if I can perform a hard reset by using a standard method. Okay. Okay. The phone is still starting. Okay, no thanks, no thanks. Okay, let me input the appropriate code. Six seven zero hash. Yes, I want to restore all original phone settings and to reset my phone. And now the phone is asking for a lock code and I'm gonna type in the standard one, one, two, three, four, five and tap OK. As you see there isn't any error with a wrong code. Phone is restarting and doing a factory reset. Thank you for watching.